Hey guys, it's Gothic Slenderman again. As you guys know, a few days ago I made a list called the Top 5 DLC Characters for Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS Volume 1. And I mentioned in that video that I would make a separate video uh, to talk about what can't be in Super Smash Bros. This is what I meant by crushing people's dreams. You see, you can vote for just about any character, but there are some characters that just won't get in. But I'm going to go over the Top 5 characters or character types that can't be in Super Smash Bros. Character types being like... Uh, some characters have fallen into the same category, yet that category is the reason they can't be playable. So... Assist Trophy, Pokeball, and Stage Hazard characters. Characters like Ridley, Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, Skull Kid, Genesect, and Zoroark can't be playable because, well, they're already represented in the game. I mean, you're not just going to remove an Assist Trophy or a Stage Hazard or a Pokeball just to make this playable. Well, yes, they could add another version of Ridley, There's not, that's not the only kind of Ridley there is, from what I've heard. Uh, but Sakurai is already not giving Ridley a chance. I mean, have legitimate reasons that are totally not hypocritical about other characters. I mean... Are we all clear? Now many people are going to bring up the Toon Link thing with the Spirit Tracks. The difference between that is when you play as Toon Link, uh, the Toon Link Conductor gets replaced by a different character who I'm not sure is actually important to the game in Spirit Tracks. I'm not entirely sure. I'm sorry to the Legend of Zelda fans. I might be uh, talking about one of the biggest characters in the game. But that's different because it doesn't affect gameplay. And you're not just going to have a character that's already an assist trophy and have them be a character. Because imagine Shadow the Hedgehog picking up an assist trophy and Shadow the Hedgehog comes out. I mean, I love Shadow. I love the idea of Saki, Ridley, uh, Skull Kid, and Zora Arc, But it's already too late for these characters. Ice Climbers. The reason Ice Climbers weren't in the game in the first place is because of the 3DS's limitations, and no DLC cannot fix the limitations of the 3DS. Not even a system update can fix this kind of limitation. Now, the new 3DS might not fit um, to the same limitations, I'm not entirely sure, but the thing is, they still have to worry about the original 3DS and people who still own that. They're not going to own DLC and just be like, hey, if you have a new 3DS, you can experience it. Hey, if you have an old 3DS and you download it, you're basically fucked. A system update cannot fix this kind of limitation that the 3DS has. And I'm not sure if the new 3DS has a limitation or not. And they're not just going to have DLC exclusive to the Wii U. It's unfortunate, but the Ice Climbers may not return in Super Smash Bros. Unless they make it one Ice Climber and have them wield two hammers and have to be Popo and have the um, alternate costume be Nana, which I find very unlikely, uh, but the original game was called Ice Climber, not Ice Climbers, and it was meant to be, uh, it had a, a two-player feature, but so did Super Mario Brothers, so they're not going to have like a Mario and Luigi pair. You know, this is going to take some explaining because of a certain situation that happened recently. Many people want to request characters like Master Chief, or Kratos, or Sackboy, even though they've never appeared on a Nintendo system. This section is going out to all the PlayStation and Xbox exclusive characters. Or so I thought. This section is still being called that, but a recent thing came up. The head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, wants Banjo-Kazooie to be playable in Super Smash Bros., and is willing to work with Nintendo to do this. And he apparently revealed that Nintendo worked with, a re with e Microsoft, I mean, uh, to work on Rare's IPs. So does that mean Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts isn't Microsoft's fault? It's partially Nintendo's too? Because they said that Nintendo worked with Microsoft on Rare's IPs. Does that mean that they worked on that too? I, I, I don't know. I'm confused. And this is more up to Sakurai, or who was ever in charge of the DLC, whether or not they want a character like Banjo-Kazooie to be in Super Smash Bros. But the thing is, Phil Spencer is willing to work with Nintendo to get Banjo-Kazooie in the game, even if he's currently owned by Microsoft. Does that mean in the title screen in Super Smash Bros. we go down to the copyright and we see Microsoft down there? I have no fucking clue. I mean, Microsoft owns Rare, so I guess we would have to. But it's more up to um, uh, the people at Nintendo if they're okay with this. But characters like Kratos, Master Chief, and Sackboy, who have never appeared on a Nintendo system, can never be in Super Smash Bros. Now, once again, being exclusive to PlayStation and Microsoft doesn't mean you can't be in. I mean, if you're owned by Microsoft and Sony. 
So I guess characters like Dante somewhat have a chance. I mean, somewhat. It's a very, 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 very slim chance, but I guess it's somewhat possible. Maybe. Fuck, I don't know. Don't look at me like that. Fourth party characters. This should be common sense. Sakurai has even said that anime and cartoon characters cannot appear in Super Smash Bros. So will people stop requesting characters like Goku, Superman, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Spongebob, Mickey Mouse, the Ed and Nettys? I don't... they can't be in Super Smash Bros. Now, people are probably saying, Well, they had video games, so that all that makes them video game characters. <laughs> no, you have to origin within video game characters to be playable in Smash Bros. ORIGIN! That's what Sakurai meant. And following your logic, then I guess Barney the fucking dinosaur can be playable in Smash Brothers. Or Shrek. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. More like not in Smash. This should be common sense. And then so there are some people that bring up another example. For an example of an example, one time um, someone brought up Alice Madness Returns, where Alice Little is a video game character, even though she's based on uh, those looking glass books that were made way back when. But this is not the same Alice. I mean, in the timeline, it kind of is, but uh, let me just explain that this was made by a totally different creator from this. American McGee, who the fuck? And it's technically a totally different universe, so while this is a video game character, this is not. I really wish Alice would come back. I miss my madness. I wish madness would return again. But all I'm saying is, characters that do not origin from video games or fourth party characters do not have a chance in Super Smash Brothers. No matter how much you vote for Goku, it's not gonna happen. And no, because Namco owns the gaming rights to Shonen shows like Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball, and Bleach does not make it so that they can automatically add them in. I mean, just because they own the gaming rights, it doesn't mean they can do whatever the fuck they want. Secondly, how does that help Namco? And three, Sakurai's already explained multiple times that anime and cartoon characters cannot be in Super Smash Brothers. Number one is also a fourth party character, but this is a special one that many people, even the biggest of Smash fans who already know that anime and cartoon characters can't be in Super Smash Brothers, are talking about, and that's Wreck-It Ralph. What are people's arguments? That little arcade-like game that's meant to be based on the game in the movie came before the release of the movie. Oh, yeah, it's not like that game was made to promote the movie at all, and it's not like the trailers of the movie came first. Whoa! Also, what's Racket Ralph intended to be? A video game character that just so happened to have a movie that's bigger than this actual game and was teased before the game was actually released? That happened to have so many video game characters? No! He's a movie character based on the idea of video games. I love the movie Racket Ralph. It's one of my favorite Disney films. But he can't be in Smash Brothers. It doesn't matter if this was released first, that little game that was made for PCs, Ralph can't be in Smash. I mean, yes, he's in Disney Infinity, but I guess we could have Buzz Lightyear then. Yes, he's playable inside Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed, but I guess we could have Danica Patrick in Smash Brothers. All the characters I went over can't be in Smash Brothers, and I know a lot of people are going to put their head comes like, You're wrong! You're an idiot! You know what? That's still right. But I'm just going over facts, and you know what? As much as I love Ridley and Shadow the Hedgehog and Saki to be in Super Smash Brothers, it's unfortunately not going to happen. As much as I'd like to see all veterans from Super Smash Bros. return, including the Ice Climbers, it's not gonna happen. And as much as my secret dream of wanting not to drag Neil from Fairy Tale to be in at least a Smash Light game, it ain't gonna happen. So I know I crushed a lot of people's dreams. That was kind of the idea. Uh, I mean, uh, oh no, it wasn't the idea. I was just trying to be informative.